this step. Please proceed. Doctor, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. I've started. Steph, can you hear me? Sam, please, can you mute yourself? Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, so just for the people who will be watching this, I'd like to give a little background. So Sam and Queen, you have already, if you basically know what's up here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So I'll just do a run through for anyone who'll be watching this. So first of all, this is the button that we're trying to design, right? So I know it seems pretty simple, but <laughs> it's a lot more complex. So it's, there's, there's one frame here, there's another frame behind. And so this button is currently responsive, right? So you can edit the text and then it will adjust um, based on the text. The only problem we have right now is that this is not a component. So while designing this, we put one frame, made it a component, then created another frame and um, no, no, made this a component, then made this a variant. So the one behind is a variant of the one in front. Yeah. So the only way, no, not the only one of the ways we could group them, right, was obviously control G to make them a group. But then the problem with that is that when you, you can if you make this a component, what's just happening? Okay, when you make this a component, this ceases to be responsive. So only the one in front adjusts, the one at the back doesn't, right? Now, an alternative or a, another method that we found was um, basically the same thing. So you see how when we open this, another frame showed up here, right? Something like this. So when we edit this one on the outside, it's responsive. So both the one in front and the one behind, they are just right to fit. Okay. But then we do not want to have um the buttons and then have this component out so this is a component as can this is a component and this is a variant right we are putting to adjust it we have to use this main one right so if i was to use this button in three different places i'd have to come here and adjust from here but if the text i want on all these buttons to be different if i want all the text to be different it's going to be a problem i'd have to detach Create components, detach create components. So basically, all these things that we struggled to do did not work until finally we found one that works. So this one was um, basically with different people until I finally found you know what could work, and that's what I'm about to show you. So you should be prepared. Also, I'm very, very what? I'm very anxious. I come at your rubbish now. So you should be praying for me. <laughs> Some are Okay. So first, we start with directly. You got this. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Start a rectangle. Um, duplicate that basically. So, um, sorry, this is not like a real real tutorial. So I may not be. It's okay. No, it's not a tutorial for for give me beginners. So I may not be like explaining things like how to duplicate and all of that. I'm assuming that you already know that. I pray you do. I hate to assume, but I hope you do. So yeah, you duplicate that, the one behind, you remove the fill, put a stroke. Yep, so you have that. So you adjust this how you want, something like that. So yeah, that works. And then take both and make them a union. Ooh. <laughs> don't, don't cuss on this call. <laughs> don't cuss on this call. <laughs> so yeah, union, that's what that. Exactly. So all the, all the, we're struggling all the while and we just do not think about unions. Anyway, so that's the first step. But there's still like plenty of other steps. So this is the first successful step, make a union. Next, you want to flatten this. Ooh. So that way, uh, let me continue. So as a union, right, it's two 
two rectangles, right? We can separate them. But then we can flatten them and one. then it becomes one element. One. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, you do that. Then you want to add auto layout, shift A, and then yeah, let's hit this to zero. Yep. Yeah, hit this to zero, hit this to zero. Then you leave that for a bit to create your text mm -hmm. button. Let's make that white. Can you see my nav? Oh, I don't what think now? Decide now, like for yeah, example, yeah, yeah, I just yeah, yeah. can see yeah, the panels. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. okay, all right, thank you, panels. Old age coming. <laughs> anyway, right. So you put this in here, and then pray to God that I do not forget the next step. Oh my God! Put this in there. Click on the union, um, the union, basically, mm -hmm. and then what they call this absolute, absolute position. position. Yeah. position. Oh, right, so that's behind, of course, and, and then you bring it to the front. To the front. Oh. Next thing you want to do is resize to fit. Yeah, so you click everything, you click the entire frame, right? The entire thing, and then obviously make sure it's that, make sure it's centered. Then you click on resize to fit. Then you hold click and hold control i use windows i don't know what it is on mac but on windows you click and hold control command. the command right yeah. so you expand this like this expand just like that right so you have it sent that click and hold browser click and hold control then you just drag that okay so now we have this it's not responsive yet, I know. Yeah, yeah. okay. But at least I'll make it progress. Next thing you want to do is this. So you want this to be all content. Content. All content. You want this to be all content. Oh, there's something I skipped. So the union is supposed to be scale, scale. Okay. Okay. Scale. So that it can move. Scale. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we'd have to resize this again. Put everything in size to fit size to fit there we go nope nope what was that please don't harass me <laughs> <laughs> yeah there we go yeah. precise to fit and then so you go back once again make this all clock okay. clock content no content. Okay. Then you want to add padding. Padding. Yeah. 32, 32, 16. 16. There we go. And your button is ready. Yup. Responsive. Uh -huh. at all. Yep. So we could insert now. Okay, so now we have this and we can make it a component. component. And it still remains responsive. Right? Okay. You can create a variant. So can you now create a variant with the uh, leading icon that has a leading icon in it? I want to see. I want to see because can you? Oh. So I've resumed this now. All right. So can you just ask to see how we can add an icon an to icon, this? An icon. So yeah. How? Yeah. So basically, let me just pick one from here let's do this bring it in we're going to make the white let's okay. let's let's pick another so you will still accommodate an icon even though yeah. it spans with the root okay makes sense let me adjust this so it's visible yeah okay there we go. So can you try editing off, the text and let's see if it is responsive. Okay. If it's still responsive. Okay, makes sense. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. awesome. And then of course you can if you turn this off, it adjusts, turns it on, it adjusts. Okay. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Sam, you're going to ask something. No, 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 no. I was going to say something, but to be off the record. <laughs> okay. 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 
right so i did i did a conclusion earlier i'm just going to do another conclusion oh, yeah. basically this is how it's designed in summary you create one rectangle another rectangle then you make them a union basically union selection and then you add auto layout you insert your button to that you do absolute what they call it absolute so positioning shiny. precise to fit and then you're good to go right just make sure that the union is skill skill and then that the everything else is hog hog. So the button is hog hog. The, the um, what do you call it now? The union is skill skill. And then the entire frame was um, hog hog again. So yeah, basically that is it. Okay. Reach out to us if you have questions because this is very exciting. No, 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 no. Guys, like reach out to me with money if you have questions. <laughs> then I'll talk to Steph. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I mean, right now I'm a celebrity, so you should reach out to my assistant. Thank you. When money is involved, no problem, no problem. <laughs> see your life, see your life.